But do you do you take this personally when a com the community is a target of attack as it is at the moment in Springfield? I, I take it personally when any community, any vulnerable community, is attacked. Not just not just a community that I belong to, uh, and proudly belong to, but any community, any vulnerable community that is attacked, wrongfully so, in a hateful way. I, one of the things that I'm proud about in being part of this administration is that we condemn that type of stuff. We condemn that type of hateful language. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gonna continue to do. And I get to do that on behalf of President Biden who also condemns that type of hateful rhetoric, as you have heard him today and many times before, when a vulnerable community is attacked. That's not what national leaders should be. Political leaders should not be attacking vulnerable communities. That's not who we should be. And if they're gonna fall for conspiracy theories online, maybe they shouldn't be our leaders. Maybe they shouldn't be. Uh, but it is on all of us. It doesn't matter if you're Haitian American, if it doesn't matter if you're Jewish American, it doesn't matter if you're Mo it doesn't Muslim American, all of us should come together. When we hear that type of hateful rhetoric, we should come together and have each other's backs and call it out because it's not okay. It is dangerous. It is dangerous. It puts people's lives at risk. And this president is going to continue to stand up and speak against it. Go ahead, Patsy. Thank you, Corinne. Uh, one last one. It's, it's not funny. I, I know I'm just you want to make. I, 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 wait, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. It's not funny. I I, wait. Know. No. It I is not. Wait. I, I'm answering. Let me answer. It, stop. Not everybody wants to hear the sound of your voice, sir. Give me a second, and I will tell you my answer. It's not funny. Patsy.